Hello, this lesson again covers comparatives and superlatives, just using a different technique than last time. Let's begin. Read the following sentences, choose the answer that best completes the sentence. The river is blank here than it was a few miles back. Widest, more wide, wider, or wider with two Ds. The correct answer is, the river is wider here than it was a few miles back. The adjective in the sentence is wide. Wide has a silent E at the end of it. When we form comparatives of adjectives with a silent E, we just add an R to the end. And we know it's a comparative because we are comparing just two different things. The river now and the river a few miles back. Next, this is the blank spot to camp. Most beautiful, beautifuler, beautifulest, more beautifuler. The correct answer, this is the most beautiful spot to camp. The adjective in this sentence is beautiful. Beautiful has two or more syllables and doesn't end in a Y. We know we're forming a superlative here because of the definite article, the. When we have the or the in a sentence, we know that it's going to be a superlative and not a comparative. So when we form the superlative of adjectives like this one, we add most before the adjective. I can't start a campfire because this is the blank wood I have ever seen. Wetterest, wettest with one T, most wet, or wettest with two T's. The correct answer, I can't start a campfire because this is the wettest wood I have ever seen. The adjective in the sentence is wet. Wet has one syllable with one vowel and one consonant at the end. We know it's a superlative again because of the word the in the sentence right before the adjective. When forming the superlatives of adjectives like this one, we double the final consonant and then add est to the end. One more example. I must be blank than you because I can't stay awake for another ghost story. More sleepy, sleepier, sleepier with a Y-E-R, and then sleepier with just Y-R at the end. The correct answer is I must be sleepier than you because I can't stay awake for another ghost story. The adjective in this sentence is sleepy. We know it's a comparative because we are comparing two different things. I and you. That's two different people, so we need to form a comparative. Sleepy has two syllables and ends with a Y. When forming the comparative of adjectives like this one, we change the Y to an I, and then we add ER 